Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you, everyone. Shalom. Hello. Allah. Every language, I can't think of any more languages to say hello or peace be upon you. I think that's about it. But today I'm here to say that a mosque should be built because it does promote interfaith dialogue. And over here, a lot of people are telling me what I'm about, that I'm about blowing up things and people. People are telling me that I'm about jihad. Do you guys even know what jihad is? G no, you guys don't. Please address because the commission. Address your testimony to us because jihad, on the landmarking issue. Jihad please. means to sacrifice what's in your heart for Islam. It's not about sacrificing other people. It's about standing up for peace, for interfaith dialogue. That is what Islam is about. And all you people here yelling at me don't even know. And maybe if a mosque were built, then you guys would know what Islam was about. And my parents, my family died that day. So how dare you tell me that this is not my country, that that I have no concern over this because they died that day, all right? They died that day and I'm for it. I'm not betraying them because they believed, they believed in peace. They believed in people together. And that day, my aunts, my family, they were thrown tomatoes at. Is that an act? That's an act of terrorism too. Objects were thrown at them too. And honestly, that day, death does not discriminate because Muslims died that day too. Thank Muslims you. died that day too. And everybody who died would probably want a mosque built so everybody understands what Islam Thank is about. Thank you. Yes, they would. Thank you. Please, the testimony is directed toward the commission, and thank you very much for next on the other mic. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is Mark Greenberg. I'm a New Yorker, I'm an American, and I'm a Jew. 2,700 New Yorkers, Christians, Jews, Muslims, and other people of faith died on 9-11. And as we know, all the, those deaths were the result of an act of a small number of radicals, and I would say deranged and insane men in the name of Islam. Just over 50 years ago, nearly six million Jews were exterminated by a regime of deranged and insane men representing the government of Germany. In the Middle Ages, thousands of Europeans were massacred by deranged and insane people in the name of Christianity. In the 1940s, our great country, out of fear and hysteria, forced tens of thousands of Japanese Americans into internment camps. Now, thank God, most of us realize how wrong that was. This room was understandably filled with the horror of 9-11, but to blame our moderate Muslim brothers and sisters for the horror of 9-11 would be just as wrong as blaming all Germans for the Holocaust, to blame all Japanese for Pearl Harbor, or to blame all Christians for the Crusades. I must say, to hear someone talk about building a monument to terrorism is very disturbing. Even to characterize this project as a 15-story mosque is inaccurate at best. It's my understanding that the Cordoba Initiative would be a Muslim-sponsored community center to serve people of all faiths and people of no faith. As a place for public gatherings for people of all faiths, for weddings, bar mitzvahs, a library, a gym, a place for classes, a place for public discourse. And our gathering today clearly demonstrates the need for public dialogue on issues of faith and multicultural relations. If we as a society are to have a dialogue with moderate Islamic community and build a greater dialogue between members of our community and the city of, in a city of different faiths, this is the opportunity to do just that. As Americans and those who feel the loss and horror of 9-11, I challenge all of us to find the courage to really live out the words, the land of the free and the home of the brave, and to reach out to those who are offering to establish a community center to serve all of downtown, to serve all of the city, and to use this as a demonstration that New York is bitter, bigger than our fear. I don't blame those who oppose this project for being bigots or racist. I believe that rather they're misinformed, un un unaware of the fact that the vast majority of Muslims are decent, loving people, and the vast majority of American Muslims love America, and the vast majority of Muslims 
were as horrified as all Americans by what was done in the name of Islam on 9-11. I say that to welcome the supporters of the Cordoba Initiative in their effort to demonstrate... Okay, time. Thank you. Thank you. Hello? Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would say that to welcome the supporters of the Cordoba Initiative in their effort to demonstrate their love and respect for this city and for America by establishing a center to serve all New Yorkers is a decent thing to do, a brave thing to do, an American thing to do. We understand the feelings of pain and loss and fear are much more intense than the feelings that many, that, that many of us has for dialogue and partnership. However, what we must do to move forward to help find peace is reach for dialogue rather than act out of fear. I oppose Please. landmarking at 45 you. Park Place. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Over here, and then we'll go back. Please. Okay, can I go clip ahead. down? Yeah.